Uh, coming at you here with another Blu-ray update. It's been a while, I know. I recently had a birthday, though, and I recently came into some money from, uh, well, not really money, but credit on Amazon from uh, trading in some of my old school books. And since I didn't need the money to buy the new books, I mean, I got all the books I needed, and then I had a little bit of money left over after that. I spent some of that money on some Blu-rays, some very well-priced Blu-rays. Um, so I spent some of that uh, on there, and then like, I got like a little bit of money for my birthday, and I spent that on like a couple of DVDs and some Blu-rays. I don't have the DVDs yet, haven't arrived in the mail, but I do have the Blu-rays, so I thought I would show you those. Uh, there are just two this time around, but one of them, I don't know, I like them both. I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't. Uh, the first one, I had the original release. This had two releases on Blu-ray. The first release was the extended edition, and it had DNR issues, huge DNR issues. I mean, there were moments, uh, in, particularly because in the extended edition parts, where you see uh, Kurt Russell, uh, and there's this scene where you're looking at the street that he lives on, and oh my god, the entire street is just a freaking blur. It is god-awful. So, what I'm going to tell you, if you're a fan of this movie, you need to pick up this version and this version alone, because this is the good version, and the other version sucks. It just It's bad. Do not, do not get it. I mean, there are certain elements and parts of that uh, release that I felt were pretty good, but then others are just really bad. So, uh, yeah. It might fool you at first, but don't be fooled. This is the version that you need to get. Stargate, the 15th anniversary edition. Now, the other reason you want to get this is, of course, because it has both the original theatrical cut and the extended edition. So... If you want to take notes and see which one has what, um, that'll help you. Uh, this has four hours of extra content. It's got deciphering the gate, concepts and casting, featurette, opening the gate, the making of the movie, featurette, passing through the gate, the legacy featurette, never before seen, gag reel, master of the Stargate, interactive trivia challenge, bonus view, picture in picture, Stargate ultimate knowledge, is there a Stargate featurette? The making of Stargate documentary and audio commentary with the writer-director Roland Emmerich and writer-producer Dean Devlin. Um, honestly, you can look at Roland Emmerich's other movies like fucking 10,000 BC, which I own. Or, yeah, I do. I own. Or Independence Day or <coughs> 2012. The Day the Earth Stood Still, I believe. You know, all of his freaking grand end-of-the-world epics. This, to me, is his best work. By freaking far. Because, well, maybe just because I'm a nerd and I like, you know, sci-fi stuff. And this is proper sci-fi. Granted, I mean, there are some aspects of it that are grand noir. But, I mean, in comparison to some of his other sci-fi, like... Independence Day, there's no Will Smith in this movie going, Welcome to Earth! I should mention I also have that movie. I, It's one of those movies for me that it's a guilty pleasure. I don't consider this a guilty pleasure because this is freaking awesome. If you don't like this, then what's your problem? Now, one of the things I want to talk about with this is a lot of people love the SG-1, the TV series, and don't like the original movie. And I'm just like... I'm the opposite. Honestly, I love the first movie, and I hate the show. I don't know. Hate is a strong word. It's a well-designed show. It was. It's all right. There's nothing particularly wrong with it. Hate definitely a strong word uh, that I don't didn't really mean. Now that I think about it, it's like yeah, that's that ain't right. It, it's it's better than a hate, you know. It's just that I don't particularly like the SG-1 series. 
I feel like they're trying too hard to be Star Trek and not hard enough to be Stargate. And that always bugged me. There was, there was also this, like, trying to be sliders kind of thing going on for me, in my opinion. And it just, it just didn't work for me. This works for me. I love this. And I got this for $5.99. It's been fluctuating between $5.99 and, like, $8.99 on Amazon right now uh, over the past few weeks. Um, and I saw it. At five ninety nine at the time that I didn't have the money for it, and I was just like, oh, I really want to get it. I really want to get it, and I have the money for it. Um, so lo and behold, when I did have the money for it, it went back up to eight forty nine. So I'm like, forget that. I know that it's been at that lower price, so I'm going to wait on that and see if it goes down again. Lo and behold, a few days later, it went right back down to five ninety nine. So got that back in my collection the right way. And the next edition, the next edition to my Blu-ray collection, really is a thing of beauty. This is, again, another really good deal on Amazon. Um, honestly, couldn't believe it was this low of price. Just going to show you. Just going to show you. The Francis Ford Coppola Restoration of the Godfather Trilogy on Blu-ray. Now, if you haven't seen this set and you don't know what's in it, and you don't know how absolutely magnificent the transfers are, let me tell you. First of all, I, I just want to show you this, all right? So, nice, embossed, beautiful, you know, you got this, like, bloody Terry kind of thing here. And in the blood, you've got, like, pictures of the, uh, images of the, uh, characters in the movies. And that whole thing. And the, the blood is kind of shiny, if you can't tell. There we go, see? Uh, and it goes around the side here. And then the back. So, very classy. And that's just a slip cover. So you take out the regular case and it's the same thing basically on the regular case but very classy slipcover if you can't find this with the slipcover for some reason honestly I'd say hold out and get the slipcover because it's a very nice slipcover uh, what do you get inside but of course the important notice I know it's so important but no uh, you get uh, the first disc, the Godfather, original, Godfather 2, Godfather 3, and what's this? It's a flipping, and there you have the uh, supplements disc, which contains both the uh, special features from the original 2001 DVD releases, and the special features for the 2008 Francis Ford Coppola Restoration Blu-ray edition. So, yes, both of those on a nice disc. The original DVD uh, special features are not, sadly, in HD, but the new special features are all in HD, for those of you who are curious about that. Uh, the set also came with... A nice little booklet here this was kind of attached to the back here like so because it has basically the information or at least some of the information about what's in the set but if you want more information of course you open it up and on the first page you've got the uh, the Godfather I get to the second page here <laughs> Second page, Godfather 2. Third page, Godfather 3. Fourth page, the supplements disc. Now, if you're curious about what's on the supplements disc, uh, the original supplements, making of the Godfather, additional scenes, filming locations, the Corleone family tree, the music of the Godfather, the Godfather historical timeline, 
profiles on the filmmakers, photo galleries, and storyboards, um, and in the new supplements, all in HD, Godfather World, the masterpiece that almost wasn't, when the shooting stopped, emotional rescue revealing the Godfather, the Godfather on the red carpet, and four short films about the Godfather. This last page here contains all of the information about all of the Oscar nominations and wins for the entire Godfather trilogy. Of course, the only wins that they had were for Part 1 and 2. A lot of people didn't like Part 3. I don't know why. Honestly, it's, it's part of the trilogy. I feel it's an important part of the trilogy. So, like, honestly, you might remember that one of the Blu-rays I picked up at the pawn shop a while back was the uh, Sapphire series edition of the first Godfather movie. Um, I got that, and then I realized, you know what? I want this, but I want the entire trilogy, because even though it might not be the best in the series, and might, in fact, be the worst in the series, it's still a damn good movie. It's one of those cases where it's like, okay... Yeah, it's the worst in this in a series of one of the best series of films ever produced by man. You know, so it's just like it's the arg it's the same argument I make for uh, Christopher Nolan's uh, Batman movie. So it's like, yeah, so this third movie could very well be the weakest link in the trilogy, but it's the weakest link in a pretty damn good trilogy. So. Yeah, we don't even know yet. I'm just saying, even if that's the case, it's the weakest link in a freaking awesome trilogy, just like this. Weakest link in an awesome freaking trilogy. Part three, I feel is important. That's why I got this set on Amazon, and it was at the low, amazingly low price of $25. So you can't really go wrong with that now, can you? I mean, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the Sapphire series Blu-ray that I have, but I am glad to finally have every last Godfather movie in the complete Coppola restoration set, the complete trilogy, all to myself on Blu-ray. If you are wondering whether or not I have seen the movies on Blu-ray yet, the answer is yes, I actually have. Um... Back when I had a Netflix account with the DVD and the Blu-ray and stuff like that, back before they jacked up the prices, uh, one of the things I was really interested in was to see how the Godfather trilogy really looked on Blu-ray because I heard, had heard so many good things about it. Let me tell you, it's stunningly beautiful. It is one of the best transfers on Blu-ray to date, still. Even though it's a few years old now, it's still one of the best transfers. Because, I think it's because because Francis Ford Coppola oversaw the entire process. I mean, he had a big part in making this set possible. So, I mean, for 25 bucks, all three of these movies, you cannot go wrong. Especially with the supplements disc, which... You are not going to get if you buy them all separately. So, if you want all the special features from the DVDs and for the Blu-ray set, you have to get this set. All right. I have rambled on long enough. Those are the Blu-rays I got. And I know that I will enjoy them for years to come. So, yeah. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.